three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Chris with CD2 Fishing. Uh, Fur is currently not with me, he's preoccupied. He had some football stuff, uh, football ceremony and some other things going on. So um, I'm like a kid on Christmas morning. I got like one of the biggest upgrades for the boat that I could possibly get. I've been wanting to do this since the day I took ownership of that boat. Uh, I'm just trying to bring it. I've got an old 1995 VIP Stealth. Um, probably most of y'all out there probably never even heard of it. You've probably seen a Bay Stealth before. That was the most popular boat from VIP was the Bay Stealth. But I, I have uh, the Bass Stealth, I think is what it's called. Uh, only an 18 footer, she's a small boat, but she puts in work. But anyways guys, like I said, I've been wanting to do this upgrade. We're slowly upgrading graphs. We're slowly upgrading some things. And uh, I, like I said, I've wanted to do this uh, since the second I took ownership of that boat. When he signed the title over to me, that's what I wanted to do was this upgrade here. So. Uh, I'm going to quit yapping and open the first box and kind of give you guys an idea of what we're working with. Who gave me a knife is beyond me. That's uh, probably not a good idea to give me sharp objects. Bubble wrap. Well, I reckon I should probably put the hat on. If you guys can't see, Team Impulse, baby. Impulse Lithium, guys. I pulled the trigger and I did it. This is the Lithium um, Pro Pack, 36 volt Pro Level. All They call it the All In. Um, so first and foremost is going to be your charger now this is a bluetooth charger plug in anywhere you are you know you got an electrical outlet that's going to be a nice one like i said it is bluetooth you can watch it on your app see where everything is besides the batteries this is the star of the show this guys is an on the fly charger so this little guy right here allows you to use your boat's stator, or alternator, whatever you want to call it. This is charge on the run charger. This is the 36 volt charge on the run charger. So that's going to be a major deal right there, guys. Major, 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 major deal right there. So uh, that's going to be awesome. Get that on there, charging those batteries on the fly. And uh, that'll charge, I believe, the starting battery too. Um, so yeah, I'm actually adding another battery. I don't even have it yet for the grass. I'm gonna have another 100 amp hour, 12 volt there for that. Uh, so there's that. This right here is, I believe, actually, let's see what this is. I don't know exactly what this box is here. We're just gonna open them up as they come about. My boat needs batteries, and I've been on the fence. I, I'm sure all you guys out there are uh, on the fence about lithium. I'm still on the fence about it, and I have the batteries. So these are 36 volt. They're actually 38.4 volt. They're 40 amp hour. I've got two of them, run them in parallel. It's the 80 amp hours, plus with the on the fly charger. Keeps them charged. So yeah, that's gonna be that one right there. See if I can't get this joker out of the box for you guys real quick. Maybe. We gotta be smarter than the and box or what? Struggling. I open boxes about as bad as I fish, don't I guys? Goodness gracious. Hey, real quick, shout out to all the guys. I know this will come out probably after the fact, but Shout out to everybody down on old Chobe down there, Okeechobee fishing. And I know a lot of guys down there fishing right now, man. I'm proud of you boys, big time proud of you boys. You guys are, are crushing it, you know what I mean? So that's gonna be the first 
one, like I said, 38.4 volts and uh, 40 amp hours on this one. Don't let the amp hour scare you guys. Talk to anybody that runs lithium. You ain't got nothing to worry about at a 40 amp hour. Um, look, by the looks of it, I'm actually gonna have to get a hold of Impulse. I actually bought carpet graphics. I got car carpet graphics for them so I could represent on the water. Unless, unless this has got it in it. Shout out to these guys too. The shipping, insanely quick on this. I mean, I got them quick. Uh, so this is gonna be the 12 volt starting battery. This is a 120 amp hour battery. And again, guys, these are all Bluetooth. So you can watch and monitor on your phones. Um, when I get these installed, I'm gonna go back and do another video on it, like an install video and whatnot. And I'll go over some of the features on this stuff with you guys. Um, I'm not sponsored, I'm not an affiliate, I would love to be. Um, I'm not even sure if they offer an affiliate program. So I'm not making a dime off of telling you guys this, I'm just telling you my experience so far. So I don't wanna hear any, any nonsense about it. So there's that. And pardon the mess behind me guys, it's, my life's kind of chaos right now. So yeah, <laughs> I've got like 50 fishing rods behind me right now and I got more inside and tackle on the wall, my backup stuff to replenish whenever we start running low on the boat. So guys, this is your 12 volt starting. This is a 12.8 volt, 120 amp hours. They do offer this in a 100 amp hour. It's either 100 or 105 for a little bit less. Um, what you see here, I uh, paid roughly like $3,500 for this entire kit. And again, guys, like I said, I, I, I wanted to make sure that I had an on the fly charger um, because that's just, that's absolutely necessary. Um, especially like fishing the Harris chain like we fish a lot. Um, if I get into certain areas, like for some reason, if I find myself like an Emeralda or something like that, I will be on my trolling motors a, a ton. I mean, I, I'll eat a trolling motor up quick. Trolling motor batteries. Um, the trolling motor is like one of the few things I haven't broken on my boat. But getting back to that there, sorry I have ADD if you can't tell. Um, I've had a bunch of issues with just lead acid batteries of them dying on me. I almost got stranded in the back Emerald. Luckily I got my, my big motor fired up and rolling out of there. I wasn't too keen on running a big motor out of there, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And I'm not one of the wahoos that comes out of there on plane. So, you're not really supposed to do that. Yeah, I didn't get my carpet graphic. I'm gonna have to shout out to him and see what's up. Oh well, not like I'm gonna die without that. And here's the last of them. Get this out of the plastic. Yes, sir. This, guys, is complete and total lithium battery setup. So again, 36 volt, 36 volt, here, 120 amp hour, 12.8 volt starting battery. Impulse lithium charge on the run charger. This is the 36 volt version. And then the actual house charger itself. On It's an onboard charger, but it just plugs in. Um, just very simple, solid. I mean, this, this joker right here is, is heavy. Uh, this is Victron Energy on this. So it just gives you options. You know, if you're on the road fishing, you're back at your Airbnb or you know, you're back at a motel if you're lucky enough to get a motel that has power uh, hookups outside and stuff. Uh, most of them, as we all know, they don't. But, um, and that's what's good about that on the run charger. I call them an on the fly charger. That's what I've always called them. Uh, Impulse calls theirs on the run. So, um, charge on the run. But yeah, guys, this is going to be the new setup for the old Stealth that, I mean, I'm sure people are going to be like, why in the world are you dumping that much money in that old boat? Because I can. Because I like that little boat. I don't... Now, I do plan on fishing at a little bit higher level. I, I swore it off for a while. I did some FLW stuff and stuff like that back in my younger days. But um, I, I am going to get back into it. But 
it's not going to be a lot. You know, I might do like a BFL here and there, an ABA, something like that. I do a lot of fishing in the river and smaller lakes and smaller private lakes and stuff like that. I, I don't want to be dumping a big 21 foot Phoenix in it. My boat's 18 feet. It's a hair narrower than your regular boat. Not a lot. It's not noticeable. Um, but it is narrower. And it, like I said, it's only an 18 footer. And I, I can get that boat in a lot of tight spots. And here's the thing. If I'm beating and banging and I got to do something or go into some sketchy spots, it's not a $100,000 boat. You know, it's not a new Camus. It's not a Phoenix. Not talking trash about any of those boats. My goodness. I'd probably cry right now if somebody rolled up and be like, here's keys to a Camus. Um, <laughs> I love them all, you know, Skeeters, Bullets. I, I mean, a boat's a boat to me. I love them all, you know. But, um, I think I'll take a tracker. I really don't give a crap. But, uh, I own my boat outright. You know, repower is not going to be too ridiculously, you know, awfully expensive. And I can fish wherever the heck I want with it. I can go beating down the river and be a river rat for the day. I can run back to my home lake that I grew up on and go beat and bang on all them canals out there and come flying in and out and running the gaps from big lake to little lake and doing all this stuff. And, you know, I can tuck into tight little creeks and little cuts back through cypress trees there's some areas I fish on the Harris chain that I'm so far back up in the cypress trees, a 21 foot or 22 foot boat would not actually be able to make it into some of these. And it's tight with mine. I mean, I, I've knocked my rub rail off the side of this boat before. <laughs> so I had to take a pick and wedge it back in there and get it. So um, I, I plan on probably having this boat for a while. It'd have to be a heck of a great deal on a newer boat to fall in my lap. Um... But we're doing all new graphs on the boat. I do, I just added a Solix 12 from a Mega 360. We just added Mega 360. And I'm going to get one more Solix. I'd like to get a Solix 15, but beggars can't be choosers. I might have to go with the 12 for the console. Uh, I'm not going to run a dual monitor console setup. Not yet. I might. It depends on what kind of deal I can find. Uh, if anybody out there in YouTube world happens to maybe be selling or know somebody selling a Solix 12 or preferably a 15, shoot me a message. Um, uh, CD2Fishing at gmail.com or comment on here. Uh, find us on any of our social medias. You guys know the drill. CD2Fishing everywhere you can find us besides Twitter. Nothing against Twitter. I just don't use it. Um, I'm on enough social media sites I don't need to be on anymore. <laughs> Um, although, I don't know, if the government gets rid of TikTok, buddy, I might have to run right over there to Twitter and get my fix there, too. Um, but anyways, guys, don't hesitate to check them out. Go check out Impulse Lithium. They've got really good pricing, especially for what they offer. Uh, in my opinion, the price point was right. It's an 11-year warranty. Um, you don't have to worry about anything. Slap these bad boys in and go. I opted for this 36-volt all-in pro setup. You can go, I know a lot of guys opt to run three 12 volts um, and, and, then, and then jump them and, and make them 36 volts. That's fine. You know, that, that's honestly, if you ask most people, they're going to tell you that's the way to go. I did this because this is a dual battery setup. So for some reason, one of these two does go bad. I've always got the other one to get me home if I need to. So, uh, or, or at least keep me fishing, obviously. Hopefully I'm not having to troll home. My goodness, you're having a rough daggum day if you got a, if you got a troll back home. Um, we've all had those days, by the way. Don't act like you never have. Um, I've had more than I should care to even admit. Um, but yeah, th this is going to be a major game changer. Like I said, I have one more battery coming and I'm going to run that standalone for my graphs. And I'm going to tee it into this so the on-the-fly charger does recharge that too. Because I will be running... <clears throat> now, I only have an LSV32. I have original, <coughs> pardon me, original live scope on my boat. I, eventually the goal is to go to live scope plus or XR, whichever one it is, with the LSB 34 transducer on it. Um, and uh, I will switch. I've only got um, a Garmin 93 SV on there right now. It's only a nine inch monitor on my live scope. It works, but after seeing a couple of guys with a 12 on that for live, it's gonna happen sooner than later. So I'm going to run all that. So I've got Mega360, a Solix 12, um, a Garmin 93SV, and 
live scope all hooked up and that'll all be ran off of that one battery um, just keep everything separate then my main battery is going to take care of obviously starting the motor but your bilge live well pump aerator um, especially with us fishing more tournaments now and we have plans to we're going to start getting pretty deep into tournament fishing i i do think i think that's going to be coming soon um it's just i don't want to have to worry about it that that's plain and simple i i don't want to have to worry about it i would much rather spend a little bit more money now than to have to worry about it in the long run or, or have a lead acid take a dump on me while i'm fishing in a tournament you know i i don't i don't want to have to deal with it i know that's a bold statement coming from a guy with an evan rude uh <laughs> I just made myself laugh, guys. That was a good joke. I'm in the garage by myself. I laugh at my own joke. But, um, yeah, I, I just, I want to take the guesswork out of it. And I, and, and I, it, Murphy's Law pretty much runs my life. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. So I have to be very, very, very vigilant on um, eliminating problems before they start, basically. Uh, sometimes that makes the difference of winning a tournament or not winning a tournament, you know, or advancing to the final day, you know, to day three or something like that. Um, just avoiding a mishap, you know, it's crazy. You know, I, I always say, if you lose five minutes, it'll cost you a half hour. If you lose a half hour, you might as well go home. Now that's not always true. And I'm not telling you to give up. That was just a statement to make you think, of, of not messing up. You know what I mean? You don't want that. You don't want a five minute mishap costing you 30 because that extra 30 minutes could have got you a nice fish to call out a small one and, and bump you up a couple of spots. You might be right on that bump for, for day three and, and you can't be wasting time. And, and, and this is stuff I'm trying to take into consideration. I, I've turned my brain into a sponge. I forgot everything I knew before and I, I'm basically relearning as I go. And, and this was the first thing I learned is lithium is worth it. Um, Greg Hackney just had a, a short little video that he posted on his Instagram and, and he goes over a lot of stuff. I like old Hackney. He's a, he's a, a darn good fella. So, um, but he, he, he's not with Impulse. He's with another company. So I'm not like trying to step on anybody's toes, but you know, check him out. He goes over some stuff and that's a touring pro and, and a long time touring pro. So I'm going to take his word over a lot of other guys. So, um, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you checking everything out. Stay tuned because I will have another video coming where I actually go ahead and install all these bad boys. So you'll get to watch that. You'll get to see me have a, a mental breakdown trying to wire. Um, I, I've wired a hundred race cars, so it, it ain't nothing for me. It's honestly, I, I think wiring a boat's easier than a race car because I'm not having to crawl around a roll cage. So, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off of here, get all this stuff ready because they go in the boat in the morning. Guys, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, remember, if anybody out there in YouTube world has a Solix, I'll even take a Solix 10. Um, a Solix 10, 12, or 15, it's got to be a Gen 2. Uh, just keep me in mind, because I'd like to have Mega Side Image. That's the only reason I want Gen 2. But um, yeah, guys, go ahead, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us anywhere on social media, CD2Fishing, just like our name shown on here. And guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Appreciate you watching.